So I'm Melissa Shaw with the Investing News Network and we're here with Fission Uranium uh, Chairman and CEO Dev Rantala. How are you today? <laughs> very good for pronouncing my name. I'm very good. Thanks. <laughs> and so talk to me about uranium. What's most, what are you hearing most at the conference right now? You know, it's not a, it's not a, a metal people love, you know, like gold has conspiracy people and everything else. Uranium is the metal people don't like because of all the things, but at the same time, the world needs energy. You know, what we need today in another uh, 50, 12 years, they're going to need 150% more. So I'm not against renewable. I just think you need nuclear energy to continue to be a part of that mix. It continues to be the only carbon free base load power. Base load means when we all go home at night, we want to turn on our fridges, our TVs all at once, which means you have to be able to dial it up. And uranium, the nuclear power, is the only one that can do it. And so that's number one. Number two, for us, most of the questions asked here are if you're building more reactors than ever now, why is uranium prices down? And, 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 I, and I believe, based on smarter people than me, who say, like for example, if, you, if it costs $60 on average for a mine to go out and, you're, and the price is 20, you're gonna lose money. So why isn't the price 60 versus, you know, right now it's at 20? Because what happened is, what determines the price is supply and demand. People who are buying the uranium are not no longer buying it five, ten, five, ten years ahead. They're buying it two, three years ahead. They're not worrying about what the future brings. So as a result, Fukushima did not stop the demand of nuclear reactors. In fact, more reactors than ever being built. What it changed was the buying cycle of utilities buying uranium. Instead of buying five, ten years in advance, now it's only like two, three years. So um, that's the fundamental problem we have. Why uranium is 20 versus not being higher. So then, do you think that that will change and there'll be longer contracts in the future? I hope so, but hope is not exactly a strategy you can have as a company. Mm -hmm. So what we did is we went to a, went to a number of groups and we, we finally come to terms with a, a Chinese company, um, a very large billion dollar company, an SOE from the central company of China called CGN. They gave us 82 million for 20% of our company and that money will last us another three to four years. So we're counting on less than brilliant markets. Now, that's the worst scenario. See, what happens is in about 2020, you're gonna see a lot of contracts that are uncovered, meaning people need uranium. In fact, the next 10 years is over 800 million pounds uncovered, meaning they need them, but they haven't arranged for it yet. In the past, they would have, but they're not now. So that may change, but we plan so that if it doesn't happen, we've got enough money. We hope they wake up. You know, but again, hope is not a strategy, so we have to plan for that. And that's what we've done. We've raised the central government of China, I guess, that gave us 82 million for 20% of our company. Mm -hmm. Because I, I've been hearing that that's where a lot of the demand is coming from, from countries oh, in yeah. India and China. Saudi Arabia, Middle East, you know, it's, it's really funny. Countries that are very serious about preparing, mm -hmm. now put their finger up and see where the political winds go, they're going hard nuclear. They, cause all they want to do is be like America. 20% of the power from electrical needs comes from nuclear. And so that's America. And so that's kind of the model. China wants to get there. Saudi Arabia wants to get there. So it's funny, home of cheap oil is building reactors, which is, should be a bit of a, a light bulb for investors. But unfortunately, a lot of investors um, are not contrarian enough. I was told if you want to make real money in this life, be a contrarian or a victim. Mm -hmm. And we, and I've made my money by being contrarian. If oil's down, I'll buy an oil stock. If silver's running, I sell my silver. I'm, that's how I am and I don't think I can change. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and what's happening with your company right now? What are some of the interesting developments? Well, we've tested about two, three conductors. We have a hundred on our project. So we're gonna to continue to test conductors. Our property itself is more than enough to keep us busy for a long time. Secondly, we recognize things could be tough, so we're finding cheaper, cheaper ways to do as much drilling at a lower cost. So we believe, conserve our cash, continue to be aggressive, yet not blow our brains out. Mm -hmm. Right.
Was there anything else that you wanted to talk about? No, I mean, I, I hope that investors uh, will learn to be contrarian and not follow the sheep, you know, and because like Rick Rule says, he bought a bunch of companies when uranium was low. The worst case return was 22 to one. So every dollar you put in it was $22. And if you look at it, think about it, some were 50 to one. There was a company called Paladin and for one cent went to $10. How much do you have to buy to retire? So don't chase whatever is in momentum. Buy good quality companies that are cashed up with good management and contrarian plays. Mm. And right now you can't find something more contrarian where the average cost of running a mine are around $60 and the price is 20. So sooner or later that has to switch. Great, thank you so much. Thank you for having thank me. You.